You may have seen one of these before. This is an ultra-wide monitor. It differs from the usual monitor by adding space to the horizontal ends of a normal monitor. Instead of the usual 16 by 9 aspect ratio found in common monitors and TVs today, an ultra-wide monitor has the aspect ratio of 21 by 9, much like widescreen movies. Content creators, movie lovers, and gamers alike use this extra space to give a sense of immersion in what they love to do. Mostly everything is perfect in the ultra-wide world. Programs run fine, videos look great, but one thing can hinder the experience. In the video game world, not every game is supported for ultra-wide monitors. Some games may not show the whole game by simply rendering a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Other games might be very buggy and not work correctly, but for some games, developers will refuse to support a 21 by 9 aspect ratio entirely due to the extra horizontal space giving players more of a view in the game. Developers for games like Overwatch and Dead by Daylight try gimping the advantage by making ultrawide users lose 30% of their view by zooming in on a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. But does an ultrawide monitor really give a player an advantage in a competitive FPS game? Let's break it down. A competitive advantage is a condition or a circumstance that puts a person in a favorable or superior position. A common argument is that the extra field of view given by ultrawide monitors allows you to see characters or unfavorable objects before the normal 16x9 monitor user. Although this much is true, let's consider some factors that show how much it doesn't affect as much as people think. There are many things that give a competitive advantage in gaming. IDPI mouses can give users any sensitivity for better accuracy preferences. Cherry red switches on keyboards have low tactical response to give the quickest articulation with button hitting more than the average keyboard. High refresh rate monitors such as 144Hz or even 240Hz monitors can refresh many times per second giving players a clear and accurate image to aim on seeing every player without movement lag at all. Just like all these tools, ultra-wide monitors are also something you can choose to buy with your money to get the advantage. This mechanic is called pay to win, where anyone can get these advantages for the game, they just have to pay for the equipment to do so. So if ultra-wide monitors is banned in some games, but it is also a pay to win advantage, just like some high DPI mouses, high refresh rate monitors, and even cherry red keyboards, wouldn't it be fair to somehow ban or limit all of these in competitive games? Simply put, the rule for this should be, if one is okay, they're all okay. Banning one advantage but keeping the others is not fair. But to also punish ultrawide users by taking away their view from the normal player is completely unfair. To see how much ultrawide affects competitive play, let's take a look at a highly praised competitive game that supports it and does not ban ultrawide users. Counter-Strike Global Offensive, or CSGO for short, has over half a million unique players that play daily to test their skills at a 4 vs 4 military style game. Tournament winnings for competitive play of CSGO can range from $20,000 all the way to $1.5 million. The competitive scene for this game is no joke, so let's view where ultrawide monitors fits inside the spectrum. Thanks to the site Liquipedia, we can view top players and what settings and preferences they use. After viewing the top 5 players of CSGO and their preferences, ultrawide resolutions was not found anywhere on their lists. Instead, the exact opposite was found. All of these top players use 4x3 aspect ratios. This is because of three reasons. The low resolution can easily achieve higher frame rates for better accuracy. They can also see more on the screen with minimal eye movement and the models become stretched, making them easier to shoot at. Ultrawides are large monitors that require moving your head to take in everything all at once. So you could even say that ultrawide hinders the advantage for this game, rather than having the higher ground. It may seem ridiculous that people play at these weird resolutions that do not look comfortable for the normal user, but this has become the standard from CSGO and it's far from changing. There are many ultra-wide supportive competitive FPS games where almost the same rules can be applied to, such as Team Fortress 2, Rainbow Six Siege, Call of Duty, and Battlefield. All of these games have huge player bases with pro players and casual players alike, 
and ultra-wide is not even found on the professional play of these games. So simply put, if ultra-wide gives you an advantage, why aren't the pro players using them? Players can choose to have ultra-wide, and it is simply not a preference for the professional players, while ultra-wide users sit in the casual play of the game undisrupted. At the end of the day, most ultra-wide users want to enjoy what they bought their monitor for, to experience content in an immersive way. When that is taken away for them, or even punished for that matter, it can get very frustrating and leave a bad experience for them. After all, the market of ultra-wide users is very low. Sitting at 0.75% of Steam users for 2017, it really shows that there isn't a community of these people. I can guarantee you that most, if not all, of these users are casual players and are very likely to become a pro player from the small group. So why make it worse for all of them? So game developers, if you are considering to make a game, make sure you think of the ultra-wide community. Although they are small in numbers, having the support for 21 by 9 doesn't hurt the community overall. It is simply better to make all your fans happy, rather than a small percentage not happy.